another boat to go over with you today this boat was designed with a purpose for a gentleman that was using it on an impoundment that had a 25 horsepower uh, maximum horsepower regulation on it and we get those from time to time uh, small neighborhood lakes or uh, fishing impoundments that are heavily managed that uh, have horsepower restrictions on them and it's not a problem they just need a good stable platform to fish off of. Who wants to go fish in a nice, great place like that and have to do it off of a lightweight flat boat that rocks side to side and isn't really set up the way that they want it to be? And this boat will plane off with no problem with a 25 horsepower. It's an 1854. So he's got plenty of room to fish. And let me show you, hand me the phone and I'll show you how he set this boat up. All right, guys, here's his console. Very simple. Cup holder cup holder for the passenger. In the middle here on the back deck, he's got storage. On the back storage bench, I meant to say, he's got storage. Right there, he's got a three foot extended removable deck. And it's got a couple of bolts up there in the front on those gray tabs, and a couple of uh, the knobs right there that you can unscrew, one on that side and one on that side. And that deck comes completely out. So when he wants floor space in this boat, he can take that out. He's got even got a seat base on the floor down there. He can have a fisherman sit in the center. Maybe if he has kids or people he doesn't want up on an elevated deck. But man, when he wants a deck, and he's bass fishing up there, that's as much deck space as we have in a Strike Series bass boat. Got two rod lockers, one on each side. You can see he's got hydro turf down inside all of his boxes. Right here, he's got a nice big storage area, and it goes in both directions, so it's a nice storage area inside there. We've got another storage area right there for life jackets, throw cushions. Got a couple of batteries in there for his trolling motor, recessed trolling motor foot tray. A couple of day boxes up there. Got a nice Garmin unit with Live Scope Plus and an Ultrax trolling motor. I mean, he didn't, you know, he's he did it right. Is this this 10 foot spud pole he's got laid there goes through that front collar you see right there it goes through the hull so he's got one power pole in the back and then you stab that through the front and it works way better than two power poles you can actually power down sideways to a wind and not move with that where you can't do that with two power poles it's going to spin on you especially once you get deeper than five or six feet uh, standard back deck Hunt deck back there with his little 25 Merc to meet his regulations for the body of water that he's on. What a great boat to fish small waters out of. It's a great boat to fish rivers or anything else you want to, but I mean, it's, it's fishing in style on a small impoundment. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Thank you.